Hey guys, Bryce with Trick Tools here, and I wanted to give you guys a look at the Evolution S380 chop saw. So uh, this is a metal cutting chop saw, and um, kind of what makes some of the differences between this saw and maybe a regular style abrasive chop saw uh, are first of all the blade. So these use a metal blade that uh, uses regular teeth on them uh, as far as the, the cut, so it might look like a you know, traditional style, uh, you know, wood saw blade, that sort of thing. But these have a tungsten carbide tip on the blade. So um, it's going to give you that longevity for being able to cut metal and be able to have these blades last a lot longer than what a traditional style uh, abrasive chop saw would last you. So um, one of the main differences in the, in the saw itself is the RPMs of the motor. So this turns at 1450 RPM, which is a different RPM than an abrasive saw. And that's what allows the, uh, the blade to do its work properly without uh, wearing out the blade. So um, these saws have a 45 degree mitering vise. So you can move these around. There's a pin that locks it in location. So you can move this uh, out here to 45 lock it in place. This uh, vise is kind of a quick release vise, so uh, you can put it on there, tighten it in place, back it off a little bit, and then if you want to back it off a lot, you just flip the lever up and slide that back. <clears throat> so um, this vise actually has three different locations. So what you can do is um, take this out here, Take this little tightening lever there out. There's an Allen wrench right here in the front of the saw base. And you can take this bolt out behind here. Just one single bolt. Once you get that loose. So when this is up here, uh, you can kind of see the three different locations as far as these holes uh, going forward. So that was in the furthest back position. Uh, right here and then you have the next position up and the next position up so what that does is depending on what material you're cutting the size of the material that sort of thing you can move the vise to get everything centered up uh, to the blade make sure you're getting uh, the proper cut uh, with the blade on the material so uh, you can do that so once you decide you want to move that lock that down in place put that thread this bolt back in here And then there's a quick locking pin on the back here that allows that to hold it in, in place when you get that lined up. And then also, like I said, at 45 degrees. Now, if you're going in between there, uh, you just need to um, get this you know, adjusted where you need it. And then again, this lever will be back in place. And you can using the gauge on the back side gives you uh, what angle you're at and you can just tighten that down in place there you're good to go so um, so what you see the saw sitting on right now is an optional base for the saw so if you're going to be using this uh, let's say out on a job site that sort of thing uh, this is an optional base that you can take with you the saw easily clamps onto it so and get that set back there and like I said before uh, these clamps are real easy so you got this little tightening knob on both sides there's one on each side here uh, and then you just have these pads on the other side that it tightens it up against so that holds your saw in place it's a uh, nice and sturdy on there so it's not going to go anywhere uh, it's going to hold it you do get the couple of material supports out here that are adjustable, you can move those around where you need them. So uh, one of the last things would be uh, this little V-block for the vise. So drop that on and it gives you the ability to uh, hold round tube a little better, uh, square tube, that sort of thing. So you can drop that on there and uh, you know this will slide up and down a little bit depending on what size material you're cutting and you can get that uh, clamped in place there. So. Um, 
so as far as the um, the cutting of this saw, it's going to give you um, pretty large capacity. So this saw has a five and an eighth uh, capacity on round tube, and uh, we'll list on the screen there the different capacities for the different size materials uh, materials that you want to cut. Uh, that way you can know. Uh, based on whether you're cutting 90 degrees or 45, you know, what the maximum size of the material is that you can cut. So uh, with that, there is a number of blade options available. So what comes standard on the saw is a regular 14 inch blade for cutting mild steel. So uh, that's what we have right here. We have another blade uh, here that's more uh, intended for thin steel material, um, stuff that's, you know, real thin wall tubing or uh, that sort of thing, uh, depending on what kind of structural pieces you're trying to cut, different extruded metals and that sort of thing. So um, then we have an aluminum blade, we have a stainless blade, we have a multi-material uh, blade that can cut wood and metal um, as well. And then we do have a optional 15 inch blade that does fit on this saw. So, um, you know, depending on what material you're cutting, what your intended purpose is, will tell you uh, what blade you need to cut. So the steel blade will cut other materials, um, but really in order to get the most amount of blade life out of your blades and the proper finish on the cut, that sort of thing, uh, it's a good idea to put the proper blades on for the material, especially if you're gonna be cutting, uh, say more than once uh, on a certain material. So uh, check out the blades uh, on our website and have more information on there. So. Um, the last thing would be uh, we have a deluxe kit that's now available for this saw. So uh, normally you get just when you buy the saw, you get the saw. Uh, we have this deluxe kit available now that uh, the kit includes the saw, the stand here, and this Evolution uh, mag brush. So um, it's magnetic on the one end, and uh, you can see it's uh, got some pretty good strength to it. So when you make your cuts, you got chips, you want to pick them up, you can just... Uh, you know, easily rub this around on the, those areas and it just picks up those chips right away. And then to clean them off, you just pull the plunger out, it pulls the magnet up and then it will drop the chips right off the end of that. So uh, yeah, that's our deluxe kit for the Evo S380 saw. So uh, for more information on this saw, give us a call, visit our website at tricktools.com. We can answer any questions you may have and uh, we'll do a couple of sample cuts now to show you guys how this thing works.